Good morning, everyone. This is David with Bolivar Live. Well, we're down here beachfront, and actually, I think the Diesels is having their big fundraiser down here. I noticed yesterday uh, some RVs had moved in, and they've done some more, so we're going to try and get some uh, information on that. If anyone watches this and has information, these are a great group of guys and gals. They do this fundraiser every year and uh, they leave the beach clean. Uh, in fact, they've got a dumpster, it looks like, over there. And uh, they do this fundraiser every year, and every year it goes to a nonprofit, a lot of times a military. And so if anyone's got any information on that, uh, post it or get hold of me so that we can let everyone know what's going on down here. I love uh, talking to them and uh, usually get an interview with them every year uh, and so or do a show on it. And so uh, I overlooked it this year and didn't have it up on the calendar. And so uh, if anyone has any information, get it to me. Well, the hunt for Bolivar. Look at that sunrise. Is the coffee hot? I've got coffee here. Uh, slept in a little bit. We didn't get into the office till about 5.15 this morning. Uh, so I'm on my about my second half cup of coffee and but we're getting going we've got a great weekend ahead uh it is going to be hot down here the beach is getting soft and it's really bad from the washout back east uh i saw people getting stuck yesterday and so just watch it if you come down here uh i know rotillion road's been real good um down anything east of uh, like Emerald uh, seems to be a little bit better packed, doesn't have the traffic on it. And so if you're coming down here and you have a car, just watch where you drive until we get an elevated tide to flood anything, everything uh, on the beach, you know, go up to about the dunes, uh, we're gonna have some soft area here. And so uh, that are a good six inch rain, but the hunt for Bolivar, uh, it's still going on. Met some people yesterday, a uh, gentleman that was from Orange or somewhere over in that area, uh, southeast Texas. He was on his third day down here. Um, uh, I'm looking at the date to make sure I have the right clip. Uh, third day down here uh, hunting Bolivar. And so uh, it was good to talk to them a little bit. Um, let's see here. Friday, July 14th. I oh, want to thank the sponsors that make the Hunt for Bolivar possible. A lot of these sponsors have been with us since we started. I um, want to thank the big store for being the presenting sponsor, the $1,000 sponsor. And the $1,000 is still up for grab. We've got three envelopes left. So right now you have a 33.333% chance of winning a thousand dollars and so i know there's some people out there hunting um i saw people yesterday and uh that really we've got three weeks left this week and two more weeks but this week someone could go home with a thousand dollars because they've got a 33 percent chance if they don't get it this week then next week you got a 50 percent chance of winning a thousand dollars so uh, our weekly sponsors are Stingery Restaurant, 110 Realty Group, Traditional Craftsman Homes, Priest Insurance Agency, Island Time Designs, Prestige Custom Builders, West Canal Beach Buggies, Jose's Cantina, Easy Lift Cargo Lift, and Bolivar Live TV. Want to thank all these sponsors for making it possible. Now, clue number four, Friday, July 14th. 2023. This area has a diamond in the rough, so this hunt, hunt shouldn't be all that tough. This area has a diamond in the rough, so this hunt shouldn't be all that tough. Now we put these clues up in our windows. In fact, usually between 7 and 7.30, uh, either myself or I've been forgetting Rachel's been taking care of it. Uh, 
and put these and we suggest you come by take a picture of it so you have all the clues all the clues are up there if the clues are down that means Bolivar's been found and we won't start until next Tuesday again. And so, and we always take a picture and make an announcement and show what they won um, in the hunt for Bolivar. Uh, as soon as they call us, we meet them up at the office, they draw and we post it. And so anyway, want to thank all the sponsors. Once again, clue number four, Friday, July 14th. This area has a diamond in the rough. So this hunt, hunt shouldn't be all that tough. Well, there's today's clue. Man, this coffee tastes good this morning. Uh, we've got some Saharan dust coming our way. And so uh, I'll let you know, start watching maybe towards the end of the weekend, into next week, really. Uh, we may have some of those real pretty sunsets and sunrises and so if we could get some clear skies we've had some haze and some cloud banks off at the distance so we hadn't had that but a lot of times in the winter time after a front comes through and we get that cool crisp air i love coming down here because it's just a ball of fire coming up so remember summertime may be winding down but we're open all year long down here and actually late summer fall Man, it's awesome down here. During the week's not as crowded. On weekends aren't as crowded. And um, just especially after we get that little first little cool front where it just sort of knocks the humidity out and you can get around down here. But anyway, don't forget about us. Uh, Team Bolivar invites you down to spend late summer, early fall here on the upper Texas coast. Maybe Thanksgiving weekend or Christmas, in fact, We've got the secret phrase giveaway for Labor Day weekend. We're gonna do it Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We, I know we've got a surfboard and we're gonna add maybe a cooler and something else to it. We'll see what we can put together, but we're gonna have a cool giveaway. And then we're working on something for Thanksgiving weekend. Um, and Kathy told me yesterday we ought to do something the week of Christmas, maybe another hunt for Bolivar too or something just to have a little fun down here. A lot of families come down that week of Thanksgiving and uh, that week between Christmas and New Year's and you can shoot fireworks New Year's Eve down here. What better way to spend New Year's Eve than here on the upper Texas coast light in the sky. So anyway, we're gonna head on out. Hope you enjoyed the show. One more time, the clue today, the area has a diamond in the rough. So the hunt shouldn't be all that tough. There's today's clue. Let us know where you're listening from. And remember, you can see Bolivar Live anytime at bolivarlive.tv.com. You can also find us on Roku, Amazon Fire, and on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at sign Bolivar Live. Until next time, God bless and bye-bye.